Hi, this is Mr. T with a tutorial on logarithms. We're going to talk about log properties to simplify logarithms, to expand logarithms, and to condense logarithms. Up at the top here, I've listed some of the major logarithm properties that we've covered in class. And for this first problem, we will primarily be using here logarithm of base b of an expression that's b to a power, just gives us that power. Again, if you remember, this expression here, log base 3 of 27, is asking what power do I raise 3 to to get 27? So again, it's we could write that as an exponential problem. 3 to what power equals 27? Now at this point, we know that that is going to be 3. Using logarithm properties, we can rewrite 27 as 3 to the third power using our property up here log of base b and this b here those match we just get the exponent so that's going to equal 3 so over here we can use our exponent properties to uh, rewrite this so now I could rewrite this as the log base 3 of 1 over 3 squared, so I'm close to getting the same base, but it's in the denominator. And if you remember from exponent properties, if we bring the exponent, something with an exponent, to the numerator, we change the sign of the exponent. So here we get 3 to the negative 2 power. And now using our log brethren property, we know that this value is going to equal negative 2. This next topic is now going to talk about expanding logarithms. We're going to start with a expression, a single log with a fairly complicated expression, and we're going to write it into a sum, maybe a difference, and multiplier of logs, and those each of those logs can only have a number or a letter as their uh, exponent. Now in this one, to simplify writing, I'm using what's called the common log. Remember LOG without this subscript, up here stands for log base 10. So first I've got here 100 times x times x squared. So we can use our property up here where we have something multiplied inside a log into the sum of separate logs. So this will become log of 100 plus log of x plus the log of y squared. On this last part, we don't have a single letter here, so we can use this third property here to bring the exponent from up here to be a multiplier in front. So now we have log of 100 plus log of x plus 2 times the log of y. And now we can simplify this because this is base 10 log, so this is the log of 10 squared, which is going to be 2. So now we get 2 plus, and we bring down the stuff that we didn't change here, and that would be our expanded logarithm. Let's look at a second example here. Here we have on the numerator some things multiplied. We have a division, and we have an exponent. Now since this exponent is on the entire expression, we have to deal with that first. Over here, the exponent was inside the parentheses and only affecting the y. So the first thing we will do is bring that exponent down and we'll leave inside the same. Now we can we have a division so we can use this second property and this 2 is to, in times the entire thing minus log of y using that second property. And now I have something multiplied here together so we can use the addition property. plus log of x minus log of y. And finally, we have here log of 10. And this is base 10, so this has a power of 1. So we get final answer here, 2 times 1 plus log of x minus log of y. Let me close my brackets here. This expression, if we put numbers in for x and y, would evaluate the same as up here. Thank you.